Hey guys, how's it going? It's Drake here. I'm in part 51 of Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth Hackman Let's Play. Okay, so you guys are probably wondering why is there no episode of this game? <laughs> um, that's because I was gonna read all the the memory stuff and like I would put everything in one video. So yeah, I finally collected all 36 memories. Um, I think the 36 anyway, but yeah, I collected all of them. So I'm gonna read them all in this video. Um, each memory uh, is basically like gives you more backstory on the characters, so yeah, I'm gonna read all of those. Um, there's also some stuff as well, like uh, cutscenes, but I think they were just like the cutscenes that were in the game that you just rewatch again, so I don't think it really matter too much. Um, but anyways, um, off camera, I did the Abyss server, um, that Abyss quest uh, case, and it was actually pretty easy. <laughs> um, I I think I fought them all on the hard. Yeah, I fought them all on the hard. Because I did change my difficulty back and forth from normal to hard. Um, to make grinding easier. Uh, but yeah, I basically fought them on the hard and they're pretty easy. Um, Venom Myotismon or whatever. He was pretty... Like, I lost him once. Um, but I beat him the second time. Um, as well as the, the boss on the last floor. Uh, I, I beat him very easily, <laughs> even hard at all. Uh, but yeah, anyway, off camera, I decided that I wanted to get Hoodie Mon because in the last video, I didn't know that you know she's available. But I looked off, uh, I looked up the what's called the illusion stuff, and I found that she's actually available. Like she, you're able to get her. So I decided uh, off camera. I just I uh, what you call it. I degenerated my Dianamon, rest in peace Dianamon, <laughs> into uh, Wormon uh, right over here. So now we're gonna go get uh, Hoodiemon. So, yeah, Erica's not, you know, in the digital world. She's gonna come back. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, without further ado, let's digivolve her really quick and then we're gonna, you know, uh, read the, the memory stuff. But yeah, there she is right here. If you guys want to know how to get uh, Hoodiemon, you gotta clear hackers memory. Uh, you need level 15, max SP, 40, speed 40, cam 100%. So yeah, you can't get her in the game. Like before you beat the game, you gotta get her after. So and, and you basically need a worm on. So it's not too hard. Um, so yeah, anyways, without further ado, ah oh, man, <laughs> we finally get to re get reunited by, uh, with Erica. So yeah, let's go. And there we go, okay, so there she is in all the glory. Um so Erica's finally back. <laughs> so that's awesome. Um gonna remove something here. Man. I don't know what to remove. Press and leave. Restore, restore. Oh, I need that. Hmm. Hydro water. I got rid of something last time. No no, no I no. Last time I didn't have Venom Trap. I wanna keep Venom Trap. But I really care about Int. I don't really think so. I'm gonna get rid of that. I don't really care too much about increasing. Well, I could. No, I don't know. I might use that. <laughs> hmm. Nightmare. Ace Archery. I think our magic's better. So I might have to get rid of like physical attack. I, I, you know, I have no idea. <laughs> Crescent Lee. Uh, I'll get over my mental charge here. So there we go. Uh, I wonder what her stats are. Like, not stats, but her moves. Because off camera, I did get, um, you know, Odimon. Oh. I actually uh, digivolved her, you know, from Dianamon to Hoodiemon. I didn't go through the Wormon to Hoodiemon phase. <laughs> so, yeah. I, I, unlo I unlocked the trophy, um, the sulfur trophy, by digibombing Wormon to Hoodiemon. Um, but the trophy is like Butterfly Dreams, so that's really cool. But yeah, now we're gonna read the little uh, memory thingy, so yeah, let's go. So here we go, there's all the memories. Uh, basically, right here is all like the movie scene stuff. 
So this is like a recap. Um, we go rewatch again, so that doesn't really matter too much, but we'll watch them anyway. So right here, hoodie member number one, record of a hoodie day you like. Oh, the video we have a lot of talking. <laughs> I'm out of breath already. Um, so analyzing the first summary. Ooh, okay, I didn't know it was actually, uh, you know, uh, first we got a trophy. And second of all, I didn't know that we have a uh, little cutscene right here. I thought it was just like, you know, uh, words, like, a, like black screen and just like words. I uh, mean, some of them have a cutscene. But anyway, hey, Erica. The other parts, uh, the new guy went and picked up from Nakano. Uh, Nakano. Uh, it is sure it's good to have an extra pair of hands. Just let me, uh, memory time for a second. I'll fix it. Almost done. There, good as new. Or maybe even stronger than before. Oh, thanks. I'm surprised at you. Usually, you completely ignore people uh, you haven't met before. My brother brought him on board. I won't just freeze him out. Ah, uh, yes. You're soon very hot and cold treatment. <laughs> Not sure if it's working. Even she, kn uh, he knows that uh, she's soon very. Um, at any rate, this is a big step forward for you. Well done. Don't treat me like a kid. Don't get mad. I'm happy about it. He's an interesting addition to the team. I'm sure he'll make Ryuji and the whole team just like we used to be. That's what you want, right? I don't know. Alright, so let's remember number one. Ooh, you can see like a little, uh... What you call it? A little picture. That's kinda cool. Let's analyze, so there go this one now. We got 36 of these. <laughs> it is another hoodie life, I think. How about Wormy? What? Oh, so these... Oh, these are cutscenes that... Did we, have we seen these cutscenes before? I've, I know, I've been watching a let's play of this game from, from someone else, so I'm not sure if you've seen this in the game or not. <laughs> I don't think so. Um, as a nickname for you, uh, no. But Wormon's so boring. No, I don't like it. You're terrible at coming up with names. That's not nice. I think I'm really good at it. I named my member tan on my terminal and the total uh, on my shoulder. After a well-known term, Mento and Mento Mori. That's so cool. How could you give him such a cool name and then give me a nickname Wormy? I never respond to a name like that. <laughs> Fair enough. How about Caesar or Nelson? Now you're talking. They're cool. I respond to either uh, either of them. Yeah, but you. Uh, yeah, but YouTube. Uh, Grand Toys. I I don't even know. <laughs> They're two Grand Toys. Whatever. They don't suit you. I just stick to Wormon, I'm used to calling you that. But I like Caesar. Wormon suits you. Really? Yeah, it really suits you. Okay, Wormon it is. He's so strange. Alright, so that's another one. So how many of these do we have? Five. Okay, we have five of these. Alright, let's go. File number three. Hoodie memory hoodie member hoodie memory number three. Ah, oh, man. Uh, so what do you want to talk about? I want to hack a team. Help me convince my brother. Another team? Don't you remember? The team disbanded when the rival left. He did everything he could to keep the team from falling apart. But it, was, uh, but it wasn't enough. Arata's charisma was the linchpin that held Ju together. There was nothing Ryuji or I could do. I don't dwell on it, but Ryuji's different. It weighs heavily on his mind. Wouldn't forming a new team just reopen these old wounds? I get that. But he's not happy. I know Jude's breakup isn't the only reason. Because of everything that happened with our parents and with me, he doesn't smile anymore. Yeah, have you seen his eyes? He has like bags over his eyes. Either that was like wrinkles, whatever the heck it is. <laughs> he's my brother, I want to see him smile like he used to. I think forming a new hacker team is the only way to make that happen. We don't need charisma, and we don't need many people. We don't need, even need to be the number one. We just need a place where we're free to do whatever we like. I'm, I'm not against it. But he's stubborn. I don't think you'll be able to convince him. But it's worth a try. Relax, I never declined a request. I never declined a request from a lady. It won't be easy, uh, but I'll give, my, I'll give my best shot. Leave it. Leave him to me. Oh my god, he hear me talk. <laughs> Thank you. 
There's no time like the present. I'll go and see him right now. Go to the cafe and drink a syrup while you wait. While you wait. It's not syrup. It's special juice. <laughs> uh, whatever. I think I have a lot of new. I have to think about a new uh, new team name. I already thought of one. What? A team name would be called. And that's it. You never know what the team name is called. <laughs> oh man, drinking syrup. Like I know people who do drink syrup. Like I know some people who do that, especially like with the uh, you know, eating pancakes and stuff like that. So <laughs> yeah, it's not good for you. Like that's too much sugar. <laughs> Huh? Is that Ryuji? What is he doing in the booth? Maybe he's investigating something. Oh, he's, ve he's definitely investigating something. <laughs> he's definitely sleeping. So, is he crying? Is he crying? <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what I thought. It looks like he's watching a video. Maybe of his parents. You should leave him alone. Boo hoo. You're the best. Ken. Is that like a, uh, you know, a little nod to uh, season two of Digimon? Uh, where there's one guy called Ken, and you know, I think he plays soccer or something. No, I don't remember he was on the team. I think so. Oh, he's watching me now. <laughs> what am I doing? I do some cases, like always. Hmm? What are you doing, Roman? You haven't been touching the users again, have you? No, I look at them from a distance. By the way, I was wondering about Eden and locking devices. Are you sure they're safe? What do you mean? If you log in, the consciousness is in Eden. Doesn't that leave the body defenseless? Can people do bad things to them? Probably. An alarm sound of any external contact detected. They're perfectly safe. You can also set them to notify the user if anything goes near the body. Small establishments like, establishments like ours essentially rely on users behaving themselves. The high class login facilities have staff to monitor the users. There are still a lot of gray areas, but it's illegal to touch the user's, bag, the user's body. So, would I be a criminal if I touch Wesley? Uh, technically, yes. But the laws in the real world don't apply to Digimon, so I'd probably be held against. So, I'd probably be held responsible as your owner. I want to touch him. <laughs> Don't even think about it. Hee <laughs> hee, I won't. I hope not. Huh? Not sleeping. I am sleeping. <laughs> He's just pretending to be logged in. He's taking a nap. I asked him to gather information. <laughs> hey, Roman. I know what you're thinking. I know even if our memories aren't, uh, weren't synchronized. Let's do it. Hee hee hee. What are you gonna do to me? I need to draw my face. Oh, never mind. Hmm, I can't believe you're still asleep. I would have thought um, I would have thought drawing on someone's stomach would wake, wake them up for sure. You drew my stomach? I must say, I'm very proud of the portrait you drew, uh, of you. I drew around the belly button area. <laughs> you see, if someone isn't actually logged into Eden, nothing happens to touch your body. If it's the same thing as someone who's logged in, uh, logged in, the alarm will go off. You should never do that. I get it. Well, that was good. I taught you something and punished him for slacking off. Two birds with one stone. But when he get angry, he deserves it for slacking off. Uh, it should come off in the shower. But that pen you used. It wasn't permanent marker, was it? Oh no. <laughs> I'll permanently have some kind of weird face in my, on my stomach. Um, I don't know. What? I don't know either. And just walk away. Great. <laughs> How did my guy not wake up? Like, that's not even possible. I will definitely wake up in that situation. Uh, conversation with Ryuji. It's all Ryuji stuff. Alright, let's go. Okay, so these are cutscenes that we've never seen before. I just wish these were voiced, so I don't have to, you know, talk. Um, Ryuji Mishima, isn't it? Are you the... Are you a tall drink of, of water? I just love muscular guys. He's not muscular at all, look at him. He's kinda skinny. He has a little bit of muscle, that's just about it. Hee <laughs> hee, I'm just having a bit of fun. Or would you rather get straight down to business? You hear about your little sister, aren't you? Uh, I guess you're already looking to me. Then I'm gonna explain the details. Can you take over for my, uh, my sister's treatment? It's an incurable disease, isn't it? Wow, scary stuff. 
Another company conducted research in the digitalization of human memories while developing the Eden system. He also had, uh, had research suggesting it could be used to treat diseases of the brain. Now, someone done their homework, but I'm sure we keep that information top secret. Is that a line of research being pursued? Some members of the technology team have raised the possibility that by adjusting memories or strictly speaking, the parts of the brain that are overloaded, it might be possible to treat any brain disease. Isn't there a real life disease where, like, basically like Erica's, but not like, you know, that crazy, or your brain can, you know, overload by thinking too much or something? I feel like there is something like that. I don't know. <laughs> Let me know in the comments, uh, comment section, but, yeah, so you want to try on your sister? Even doesn't cure her, it might buy her uh, more time. But that theory is still in the research stage, it's never been tried on humans. Are you sure you want to test it out on your beloved system? Anything. <laughs> Save her. Uh, Application does anything. Um, I understand how you feel. Wanting to save the life of your only living uh, a relative. You'd be uh, lonely without her. Doesn't he have uncles or aunts or grandma, grandpas? <laughs> You're doing it for yourself, aren't you? Huh? Yeah, I'm just kidding. Looks like I, looked, I took it too far. Uh, whenever I see someone like you, I can help but tease them. Okay, I'll take over for... I'll take over your sister's treatment. What? But it'll cost you a lot of money and resources. How you pay for it? With my body. <laughs> I don't know. With like... Yeah, you find me washing dishes or something. <laughs> I'll do anything. You clearly have a skill to access Kamishiro's top secret data. That could be very useful. Work for Kamishiro. No. For me. Be my slave. <laughs> That's what you were just saying. Number two, uh, you uh, memory of Katie Mon eating him. Well, that's not fun. <laughs> Have I been swallowed by Katie Mon? Am I inside it now? Uh, am I inside it? How am I still alive? And you see someone else? I don't mind. I will destroy you before you are destroyed. Before anyone can abandon you. But Katie Mon. I'm sorry, my weakness made you this way. I won't run it anymore. Even Sanada is fighting. Chitose, Wesley, and Erika waiting for me. Nobody's abandoned me. I was just scared. So, you fight too, Arcadiamon. Oh! Oh, there he is. Uh, what you call it? Cybertramon? Huh? You protected me. I thought you were dead. <laughs> you waited for me too. Thank you. I need your help. Let's get back to Hoodie. Back to Erica and the others. Okay, so these are all pretty interesting. Um, he's the record of Tichoshi talking to Digimon. Okay, so this is how we're, we see him bond with Digimon. There's no one here. Finally. Time to touch my ankle, Yomon. <laughs> wow, I can't even get my Digimon out in the real world. Oh, I can't even get my Digimon out in the real world. I heard you say my life. I wanted to let you know how grateful I am. Thank you. It feels weird thanking a Digimon like this. But Digimon aren't just tools. I understand that now. So I want to ask you something. Not in, not in order, just a request. Can you please go and help Woody? I can't leave the hospital yet. I, mean, I never seen him do anything. <laughs> Is that a yes? I don't really understand. I wish you could talk like Eric the Digimon. This is a crucial moment for Hoodie. I'm counting on you, compadre. Oh man, I'm talking. <laughs> Use memory. Okay, so three of them. Right, let's go. Ooh, my stomach. I think I'm gonna puke. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna say that word. We are family friendly here. <laughs> oh, yeah, he actually talks. Okay, never mind. I don't have to say anything. <laughs> Did we see this already? Okay, some of these are like we've seen already. Okay, 
に入ってもまだ弱い自分を見られたのが悔しいんだよねしかもまたガキの頃みたいにあいつに助けられちまって。できるわけねえよなゆうちゃんだもんねまた泣いてあいつに助けてもらうつもりかよなすだけねえなあの頃とは違うあいつに助けられる俺じゃない俺じゃないんだそうだお前にはもう俺がついてる俺はお前の味方だ俺の言った通りにしたら全部うまくいっただろう ?Ok, so I think this is an extended version of what we saw. アカウントを奪われたせいであいつはお前を頼り始めた。初めてお前はあいつを助けるかと思わなかもうお前は弱いだけのお前じゃない。I want to be in hoodie, is that right? <laughs> nah, that's okay. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention that off camera while I was doing the Abyss server, I, uh, you can team up with people. It's kind of like how territory battles are like. And I got the last popularity event for, uh, for Erica. And I just got a mosquito bite, so that sucks. <laughs> uh, so I got the last uh, popularity event from uh, Erica. And basically, it's the continuation of her being like, Oh, uh, I'm eating well now. Uh, I finally went home and, for like, you know, went home and, you know, sat down and <laughs> took some time to, uh, you know, open all the doors and stuff because she hadn't, you know, been to her house for, you know, a while since she kind of lives in Hoodie now. Not the Hoodie, but the cafe. And it's the first time, you know, actually, you know, Spending time in her house and uh, she's like, "Oh, uh, thank you for you know worrying about me stuff like that." And she asked you a question where it's like, "Oh, you you never you never leave me, right?" Or whatever. And then yeah, basically about it. <laughs> the options were like, uh, "No, I'll never leave you," or um, "I'm not going anywhere." Or one of them was actually kind of funny. Or it was like, "I'm not going anywhere, but are you?" <laughs> it's kind of funny, um, especially if you beat the game. You're like. Uh, that kind of accurate to what happened to the story. But anyway, she gives gives you like a, a personal item, like Erica's like bento, or whatever, something like that, some Japanese uh, something, uh, not bento, but like some Japanese dish or whatever. So it's kind of cool. Um, it's kind of funny how I got Erica's popularity event, like all three of them, before I even seen Yuko's. <laughs> Especially since how much, uh, you know, I'm taking Yuko with me to these type of. Uh, Territory battles, stuff like that, so kind of interesting. I think because I answered all Erica's uh, questions right, like I always got the little heart on you know, on your avatar, so I think I was answering the questions right. Anyways, let's get back to the <laughs> that much got the files. I've been talking way too much. Hopefully, not this voice too. <laughs> So I'm not sure when this, when this, this happened. Okay, I think this is a continuation of before. Mm, 
Oh, this is after they beat uh, Osaka, the one who originally stole our account. This one beyond K, basically. Okay, so basically you did, had the same relationship with Hosaka as you did with us, where he was a uh, KO's enemy and you was friend. So I'm gonna assume that he probably came up to Hosaka as you or something, and then after that he became K and took him out, basically. I don't think that I can ever, you know, have a, a be like a villain in any movie or game or whatever. <laughs> oh man, can I probably be like the worst villain in the world. Oh, <laughs> uh, but yeah, let's uh, look at this one. The last U of Emory. This is probably after we beat him. Never mind. <laughs> Sound like Cody Ben. Are you crazy? Okay, so this is when I don't even know before the digital shift, like before the the whole open up in the, in the real world, I think, or during. I have no idea. You know, it would be kind of cool if we get this uh, outfit as a costume. It looks, looks kind of cool. Um, not like I would wear it, but you know, still. <laughs> kind of cool. So what you thought of us when he was in our body was to be a crazy maniac. <laughs> I mean, for my the look of my ca main character's face, you know, he's kind of crazy. <laughs> this is like a uh, Doki Doki all over again, but like Yuri is like wanting to go you know, crawl inside of you. It's the same thing, except you is not really Yantori. No, he doesn't want to kill anyone. Well, then again. I don't know.
Eh, maybe he might be Andre. I don't know. <laughs> Okay, yeah, he's not, he's a yonder, that's for sure. He doesn't really have the the killing tendency though. Though well, he did eliminate some people, he killed Osaka and something like that, but it not really like he didn't really try to kill anybody from a hoodie, so I don't know. He's basically like a, a trap wannabe yonder. <laughs> okay, the next expression. You might be yonder. <laughs> That's the creepiest you face ever. So it's the last of you memory. Now it's all Jude. I need a whole bunch of like, random stuff. Who next is Yoda? Who is Yoda? The record of daylight for the sun in all boys school. Who is Yoda? Like, I don't even know. I'll probably find out when I see it. Gallimon. Oh, Simon memory. Ooh, that'll be interesting. Okay, so let's go to this one. Um, data is old and partially corrupted. Okay. Looks like some, some kind of recording. Some of the footage is missing. Chito said, you track him down? No, he got away again. Even though I ran eight track, uh, tracking programs. Damn it. Don't give up. We just find another way. It makes me so mad. I sp we spent a year of our course developing that defense protocol, and he broke through it like it was nothing. I'll catch him and teach him to mess with us. He's better than us. Be quiet. I think this is with the Rada. Or how you got him? Never mind. Erica? Why have you dropped out of the course? Mom and Dad are worried. Tell them I'll be back, I'll be back in a few days. Okay, so this is probably... This is probably the Arata who broke the defense or something. Before they, you know, made you... Uh, tell them yourself. You're always like this when you get wrapped up in hacking. But you never teach me. I'll think about it once you improve. I'll hold you to that. Oh, she improved already. <laughs> Uh, was that Erica? I haven't seen her for a while. How is she? Cheerful, annoying as always. Oh wait, I found this his terminal information. Salvage the personal details, Jose. Okay, I wonder what he's like. An elite data analyst for a multinational company or a CIA super hacker? Huh? He's just a kid. A kid. He's still in school. His name is Arata Sanada. Arata Sanada. Haha, this is embarrassing. I can't believe you've been showing up by some kid. What should we do? Send him the virus to get our own back? No, contact him. I want to meet him in person. Oh, Ryuji. He, he's, a, he's a kid, man. Calm down. Oh, so these are like music thingies. So they're kind of like a music. Not music, uh, a sound file. That's kind of interesting. Uh, Sueto. Uh, yeah, Sueto. Uh, memory. This one. He's working with Kamashio. Man, sick for it, man. <laughs> oh, you want to use uh, my paper in a new project? Yes, to save a young lady with exp extremely rare incurable disease. We're putting a special team together as we speak. Your paper will be the foundation of our research. It's just a hypothesis. Uh, I have no idea what effect it could have on the human body. Testing out on a child? The risks are too high. Oh, you already tested out on some kids. Actually, not, not him. Uh, Kamishiro. The original people of Kamishiro. Don't worry, uh, Miss Kisube, the subject, and her family all accepted that no one knows exactly what, ha uh, what happened. If we succeed, the company can expand its business to into the medical sector. Miss Kisube is always thinking 10 steps ahead. They have no objection. objection. Use it as you see fit. Thank you, Miss Kisube will be pleased. Fools. All fools. Who cares about what happens right now? The whole world will be erased. <laughs> Something like stupid like that. Zai, who would have thought such a drastic step could be somebody's only hope? There's so much sadness in this world, I cannot allow it to continue. The world must be changed. <laughs> and that's why you became crazy. Fame memory. Journal recording days with a lover. Oh, this is just Yuko or Yugo. In the journal recording days, the author spent with someone they love. Data. AAXX. I had an idea of cooking for her. 
I decided to make something for my home country, Brazil. Hayes from Brazil? Hayes Spanish? I'm not Spanish. Yeah, I, I don't really know. I'm not that into the. <laughs> I don't really know too much about the. Uh, I guess Latino culture? I, I'm not sure. I'm not even sure if you're Latino. I don't know. <laughs> Brazilian, okay? How about that? Faye's Brazilian. <laughs> I didn't know that. Uh, I spent all day getting the ingredients. I'll invite her over tomorrow. Can't wait to, uh, for her to see a reaction. Oh, can't wait to see a reaction. How does Faye know Japanese she's Brazilian? I mean, it's not like she can't learn it, but, you know, unless she spent her whole life in Japan. You know. Date BBXX. Her reaction was a bit of a letdown. She ate everything, but her facial expression was as usual. I asked, and it seemed her favorite food is rice balls. They were a bit simple, but giving someone what they lo like is the way to showing love. If she likes them that much, I'll make them for her next time. I think I'll add an extra twist on my second home country, China. Oh, so Faye's also... Uh... Hmm. Maybe Faye moved a lot throughout you know, childhood. She lived in Brazil, now then in China, and then now in Japan. Maybe. That's a great idea. I'll come up with a recipe tonight. I'm gonna and uh, take them towards the mom. Date BBX again. Same day. Her reaction was let down. When I showed her the rice balls, her face lit up. But she looked like she looked disappointed when she noticed the Chinese twist. I don't get it. What did I do wrong? I need to do better next time. Maybe she didn't like that they were so rich. Next time I'll stick the recipe to my third to uh, home, Kyoto. I don't know what that is. I think it was from Japan. Sounds like Japanese word. CCFX. Her reaction was a bit of a letdown. Something wasn't quite enough to bring her out of it. A big smile. But why? What was missing? She didn't like the rice. The rich ones. Only... Too much talking. <laughs> what the mild ones? Oh man, my voice is dying. I'm not used to talking so much. <laughs> Even though I'm recording, I don't talk this much. I uh, can't. Be, I can't be bothered with this anymore. DDXX. I haven't slept a wink since uh, last half. Since what happened? In desperation, I made her one last batch. I thought it was a different word at first. <laughs> She ate them and smiled from ear to ear. They were just plain rice balls with salt. And sometimes uh, the plain things is what you know is what works. <laughs> They're like the the simplest things is what make people happy. Um, and the salt wasn't even that special; it was just ordinary co ordinary cooking salt. Even so, uh, even so, she couldn't get enough of them. Then, with a smile on her face, she said they were amazing. I don't know why I bothered putting in so much hard work before. I succeeded, I got what I wanted to see. What I, what I wanted. The record ends here. Why would she record these? Like, a uh, journal. Why would she really chop them? You go, recording of days of my, imper uh, my important person. Uh, I've seen this before. Um, so, let's play. So, this is her, you know, with Yugo. In the record of the days, Arthur spent was all important to them. AAXX. I'm going to visit my brother at the Central Hospital again today. I wish you would wake up. I'm going to visit uh, BBXX. I'm going to uh, visit my brother at the Central Hospital after work. I wish you would wake up. Hugo works. I'm going to visit my brother at the Central Hospital again today. I wish you would wake up. How many months are passing by? Or are, are the C, the like ABC days, or is it like months? I'm sitting at brother's bedside again today. DDXX. I'm going to go visit my brother at the Central Hospital again. Again today, I wish I'd wake up. So oh, this is so sad. I thought I saw his eyelid move just a little, but it was probably just an involuntary reaction. It still made me happy, though. It proves he's still alive. E E assets. I'm gonna visit my brother at such hospital again. I wish you'd wake up. I keep telling him to wake up, but there's no response. F F F X. I'm gonna go visit my brother at such hospital. Yeah, okay, whatever. <laughs> uh, G G yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Poor Yuko. Look at all the months that, or days. I'm assuming it's month. I think X is year, the the other stuff of uh, months. Poor Yuko, she's been suffering so much. I I I uh, I, I X X. I'm gonna visit my brother at the Central. It continues in this vein. I don't think I need her anymore. Poor Yuko, poor Yuko and Erica. They've been suffering so much. Man, I was like, gonna, I just wanna give him a big hug, you know. <laughs> if I ever see them, which you no know happened, cause. They ain't real, but if they were real, I would give them such a, the biggest hug. I would never let go either. Uh, well, sleep memory. I record uh, the hand down a certain event. Of, I have no idea. What the heck is this? Probably something with the uh, Kyoko or something. 
Is it account meant for meant to record a certain event or for prosperity? On the day it happened, I headed to the agency as usual. Here I should refer to the prior pri pri Pritchard's scenario simply as Q. Q asked me as her as Q asked me to be her assistant, and I had just been to a certain cafe to buy her as usual. Also, this is about our uh, protagonist. When I got back, Q uh, gleefully took it uh, from me and promptly disappeared into the lab. At least that's what I uh, what I call it, whatever. That is when I started to imagine the horrors that were about to take place in there. Q has a bad habit. Q was attempting to transform the pleasant aromic, aromatic substance that I just brought into a terrifying beverage for mass destruction. Mass destruction. As my curiosity got the better of me, I decided to peek into the lab. The lab is strictly off limits. But it may have cost me my life if I did not find out exactly what was going on. I had no choice. I opened the door in a couple inches and saw Q rushing back and forth. What I saw me gasp. There was a gigantic tuna hanging down from the ceiling by a rope, and Q was holding a sharp knife ready to cut it into pieces. What the heck is Kyoko doing? Baffled at what I was witnessing, I overheard Q gleefully, gleefully talking to herself. My assistant has been working uh, so hard lately. I need to make him an extra nutritious cup of coffee. They say that the tuna is rich in vitamin B5 and B6. And I heard the eyeballs were great for great brain food. I definitely have to go in. I think I'm gonna be sick. Hmm. There, but they're too big for the coffee cup. I think I'll, I'll just have to put them in the blender. It also needs a lot of bananas on the fruit to buy glue close. Alright, bananas and stuff are not bad, but I don't think it goes with coffee. And I'll add some topic tapioca. I don't know what that is. More texture. Hehe, <laughs> this is gonna be amazing. With a big smile on the face, she put all the chopped ingredients in the blender and pressed the button. Buzz, buzz, buzz. The, uh, the ingredients were forced were ground up into an amorphous goo that gave up a foul stench. Q was grinning all the while as the ooze uh, splattered the kitchen. I fell to my knees, shaking the, uh, the prospect of a terrible experience I was soon to be subjected to. After all the beverage of mass destruction that Q was in the process of con uh, concocting uh, could not be meant for anyone else, I was sure to be its intended target. I am using my last moments to write this account. I hear Q calling me. My time has come. By the time I read this, I may be no more. I just want someone, anyone to read this one day. And I hope that whoever does will do something in the power to ensure that the same fate does not befall any more poor or unfortunate souls. I hope that this record does not end up lost in the mountain of data. This is my final wish. Man, poor Wesley. <laughs> uh, the record ends here. Okay, Ryota, cricket. Oh, Ryota is uh, one of the kids from like one of my friends. I think uh, the old protagonist friends, I believe. I think. Oh no, my Ryota is the uh, the person who likes uh, Nokia. My girlfriend broke up. My girlfriend broke up. With he finally overcome the Jamaican incident and got them together. Actually, no. No, no, I was right before. The Ryota is the friend of my old protagonist. Uh, I think I'm pretty sure. Then three days later, she said it's still too soon. Let's go back to being friends. When I asked why, she said this. When I talked to Nokia, she said Sakura, all the men are dogs. Uh, you better think about it carefully. I also texted... Also, a detective I know said, you're just settling for him. It's best to just end. I like you, Yoda. I heard everything about you. I uh, heard everything about you, uh, well, everything you did for me when I was brainwashed by Jimmy Kim. But I think it's too soon for, for, us, uh, for us to be go, uh, boyfriend and girlfriend. Let's just uh, go back to being friends, okay? Too soon? Being back, uh, back to being friends? I never understand, woman, damn it. I wish I could change this whole stupid role. Poor Yoda. Record ends here. Uh, Gallimon. We actually didn't see Gallimon in this game. I lost it. Alright, he's crazy. Alright, I saw it. I would recognize the hideous sight anywhere. He smelled like poop. I've seen either a corrosion like that in the digital world. He smelled like poop. Like a padre or the victim. He also smelled like poop. <laughs> My failing lead. Uh, led to a great tragedy. 
I wounded an eater but failed to destroy it, and it fled into the depths of the digital world. As a result, the area of Pekka was severely damaged, and many of my compadres uh, uh, lost, lost a life. If not for my error, if not for my error, they'd still be here today. I can still hear the screams. Ah, help me! <laughs> I will do anything it takes to stop the corrosion before it spreads any further. Wait and see, Rada Sananda. I will not allow the same tragedy to happen again. And you smell like poop. <laughs> Alright, next up, someone's memory. Record of mysterious sound data. Ooh, I wonder who this is. I'm gonna say Mateoshi. Oh, come on, I don't have to be voice acting. He said this, this is a sound recording, right? There's no one here. Um, ah, here I go. Three, two, one. I like you, 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 ha ha, I have fun. Yeah, now I can say it to her for real. What the heck? I can hear him from here. I think the whole world must be able to hear him. Who the heck was that? <laughs> Is that a Ryota? Um, e Hummingbird Full, singer with tremendous indie appeal, Jimmy Kim's hit song. I wonder if this is actually like, the entire song. It'd be kind of interesting if it is. Ephemeral Hummingbird, you rock my world. I can sense that the city night feeds your love. Of course, ice point under. Come to me if you feel cold, don't hold, me. Don't hold out on me, baby. <laughs> my burning passion will keep you warm. Of course, my burning soul. One night without you is living hell. Cora is just like hell. But hell is, is heaven to the demon. It suits me just fine. No kidding, I'm not joking now. Cora, ha 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 ha. I swear to your bewitching eyes forever. You're the only one I love. My heart is crazy for you. I swear to my mad voice together. Uh, who's the one you love? I'm gonna sweep you off your feet tonight. Oh bird. Of course, you're bad. <laughs> Ephemeral sweet hummingbird, rock my world, bewitching your demon eyes. So bad. So, <laughs> my ballad, ballad. I don't even know. Sweet ephemeral hummingbird, hear my song. Get high on my demon voice, baby. How long is this? Wait, da da da. I wish he actually sang it. I'm not even sure this is actually a song called Ephemeral Hummingbird in the in the OST. I don't think so. Happy hacker memory number one. Some sort of record recorded data, text data, hacker definition by hackers. Oh, this is. Basically, um, telling you, like, about, you know, hacking, like, hacker stuff. <sighs> okay. But what's up? Here, I define several things about hackers. For anyone who aspires to be a hacker, please read this and take it as, as a guide about what not to do. If you simply have interest in hacking, this overview will give you a glimpse into the world, the weird and wonderful, wonderful world of hackers. Hackers. The word hacker has various meanings. People who enjoy fiddling with the finer points of programmable, programmable systems and finding ways to enhance them. People who program with such enthusiasm that this is like they're possessed. People who are employed to keep data safe from all the hacks by looking for loopholes and vulnerabilities. People who specialize in programming at great speed. These are just a few examples. There are even those who were, for whom the word is synonymous with creating pranks. Created pranks with them. As such, the word hacker has different meanings. Depending on the time, place, and context that they use, and in you know, whatever. You I wonder what meaning it uh, will have the reader when the talk is released. I love hacking. This is so long. <laughs> Number two about crackers. <laughs> Happy hacker record. Here to find several things about hackers. Crackers. A hacker is skilled. A skilled uh, computer expert who uses the technical, technical knowledge to overcome a problem. Malicious people who the type who steal the confidential information of Eden users are more correctly called crackers. However, most Eden users do not uh, know this difference and tend to lump them in with, uh, with hackers. The fact that crackers do not usually refer to themselves as such also contributes to the confusion. I love hacking. Almost all of my god! <laughs> all of them are happy hacker memories. <laughs> We're almost there. The most of the Western memory number one. Oh my god. Happy hackers record. Here I define several things by hackers. Because the hackers characteristic 
uh, personality traits and they generally live in a certain lifestyle. As a result, they tend to look similar. Here I'll give you some examples of characteristics. Hacker style characteristics. They look like the intellectuals, uh, but not scruffy. The clothes are usually casual and they prefer to wear t-shirts and hoodies. They also like to wear sandals and even go barefoot. In addition, here are some examples based on the hackers who have, who have been active in Eden. Due to the recent event of the Eden system that so realistically sim simulates the real world, there are many examples that deviate from the above. There are numerous hackers teams who wear matching outfits similar to street gangs. As the Eden network popularity increases, I expect to see this trend become more prevalent. I love hacking. Uh, hacker's nature. Ha happy hacker's uh, record. You are to find something about hackers. Hacker's personality characteristics. Typical hacker personality traits include intellectual proudness and curiosity. Many hackers are loners. However, the recent trend of hacking teams have meant, has meant that some now view these traditional solitary hackers as old fashioned. Logical thinking is another common trait that hackers share. The ability to draw on or upload knowledge that some would consider pointless at any time is also important. They have little interest in social prestige or financial gain. Instead, the, the, the things they value are amusement and mental sim stimulation. There are many Eden hackers who use cracking to make money. However, the majority of hackers will take a very dim view on such conduct. I love hacking. I hate hacking. <laughs> oh man, I don't want to read these anymore. About titles. Uh, a happy hacker record. Here I write about hacker terminology. <laughs> titles. Uh, hacker has several titles. Uh, one is highly knowledgeable. Is called a geek. Oh, isn't that a nerd? Wouldn't that, yeah, wouldn't that be a nerd? Well, the thing is, geek is like for people who like technology and stuff, I guess. I guess it could be more used towards that. Nerds is like people like to study. I guess, I don't know. One of the outstanding hacking skills is called a wizard. The one who has made a great achievement is called a legend. I still remember the Jude hackers being granted the title of a legend after infiltrating the high security fortress of Under Zero. Another title is Guru. This is given to hackers who possess the knowledge of a geek, but also teach the and guide all the hackers. The similar title of Vanguard also exists within the work of fiction that was popular among us certain subculture. Oh, he didn't say I love hacking. I guess he hates hacking I guess he hates hacking now. I don't know. Malware. Happy hackers are good. You're right about hacking terminology. Malware. Who writes these? Short, uh, short for malicious software. It, uh, uh, it includes computer viruses and worms. Such, uh, such programs are generally used to destroy or street, uh, steal data. Eden hackers do this by modifying digital monsters. Uh, there's a wide variety of different types, including many that erase parts of avatars in order to reduce capacity. That, one, that one's pretty short. Uh, firewalls. <laughs> Three more guys, three more, and we're free. Happy hackers are a uh, record. Here I write about the hacker terminology. Firewalls. Firewalls were originally a system that prevented users from causing damage. However, he Eden hackers have now modified them and they're often used as barriers and turf wars. Their range is strength, but a certain level of skills are they required in order to get past them. Yeah, he, I hate firewalls in this game. <laughs> uh, well, I hate it in the beginning. Then it got pretty easy to beat them. Actually, I don't die hard. Back the worst. Happy hacker delivered. Uh, here I write about hacker terminology. Back doors. There are security holes that designers and maintenance staff deliberately leave in systems. Once even hackers find such back doors, they use them for their own purpose while ensuring that, ensuring that no one finds them. There are even some elite hackers who are capable of forcing, creating, forcibly creating their own back doors. I love how short these are. Thank you, game. <laughs> Some sort of record. Oh, uh, never mind. Bugs. Happy hacker records. <laughs> You're right about hacker. Uh, about hacker terminology. Bugs. A bug is something that causes a program to malfunction. The term was supposedly coined in the 1940s when a naval reserve officer fixed an error by removing an actual bug that was trapped in a relay. 
This is actually kind of true. Um, I heard about a story during my uh, classes in college or something like that, where and they found a bug in a computer and I was causing you know the errors and then they took it. Once they found out, they decided to call you know any error in the computer like bug or whatever. I think something like that. Basically, what the heck is this guy saying? Oh, I'm pretty sure. I could have told you guys that. <laughs> okay, you guys ready for movies? I really hope this is not a repeat, but I'm assuming it is, so... Uh, I'm not gonna skip them, because why not? They're kinda cool. How long is this video? Yeah, uh, pretty long. Eh, whatever, we got... We got uh, six more. Or seven more of these, so why not? Alright, let's look at these memories. Or these movies. This is basically from the, the beginning of the game, I believe. So now I'm gonna go back and watch all these stuff if I really wanted to. Man, I'm just game. Oh, we're going to a bug thing. Boom. Also, you hack into even, uh, you know, more secret room. I didn't know that. I forgot about this stuff. Yeah, there's no way I can read all of that. Haha, <laughs> 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 new. <laughs> Server's down again. <laughs> Hummingbird, who the heck's Hummingbird? Oh, that must be Jimmy Kim. I don't know who those guys are. Donkey. Yugo. Yugo and Faith. Are there. Well, that's kind of cool. We are a dragon book. I wish I had more of these in the game, you know? I want to chat. What is that a dragon wing? Ten hundred. What was that? I don't know who ten hundred is. Let me see Chitose. I think Emma is me. Butterfly is, uh... Erica. BU77ER5. Oh, I don't like when people use uh, seven uh, numbers in a name. Man, I, I remember when I first watched this cutscene when I first played this game. Oh, such a long time ago. Yeah, okay, this is Chelosi, alright. And that's me. I can tell. Because Amma is like, uh, what's it called? I think it's the first game we use the same name Amma or something. And because this is like the 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 puckering face. Yeah. Okay. Silence not imply consent. It doesn't work like that. <laughs> That's for Yuji. Dragon book. What kind of names are these? Why would they name them some dragon book? 1000? Erica makes sense, so I understand that. Oh! That's why uh, Ryuji was, was up there talking to Yuko and Faye before. Yeah, about that. I wonder if there's like, I can imagine this being a, you know, uh, a chat room, like, in, re uh, in the future, something like this. I can't wait for that, to be able to, you know, talk to people in like some, these type of chat rooms. I'm pretty sure it's probably even available right now. I don't know. Why do that guy's advertise so weird? <laughs> So long ago, man. Long into Eden. Oh, these memories. Doo -doo -doo. Man, they should really make an anime of this game. Or like, something like this. But there only seven anime cutscenes in this game? No, but usually there's more. 
その物語には脇役が存在するあるいは登場すらしない人々も僕はある年齢を過ぎた頃から自分がヒーローではないことに気がつき始めたこの世界にとって僕は脇役に過ぎず物語に登場することもない I really love the take in this game where it's basically about a, a background character その時を夢見ている The main guy in this game it reminds me of、uh, Midoriya. I wonder if they had My Hero Academia in mind when they made this game. I mean, this is made by Bandai. Bandai. Well, Bandai doesn't really have to have, like, do anything with My Hero Academia. They only made the game My Hero Academia. One Justice. <laughs> is the first meet Erica. I'm pretty sure there are way more than seven, you know, cutscenes. t h a t fast she's typing, that's crazy. <laughs> oh, look at her, she's adorable. <laughs> Alice can always watch that over and over again. Because <laughs> she's not in the game anymore, like, she's in the digital world, but Alice can watch that over and over again. Then suddenly, Omnimon. How did my guy from the previous game, from the first episode of the game, not see this guy? Here. What? Where's Nokia again? Is she on top of it? That's it? I could have sworn there's more. <laughs> Cody's collapse, the explosion of the cafe, or I thought that we didn't have to do any more cases. Look at these poor people talking here, you know, after work. No, I don't have to scroll up. Boom! <laughs> Man, this game looks so cool in the anime. I really wish they made an anime of this. It could be like one episode, like an, old, like a, an hour long episode. Kind of like how the fake Grand Order, they had an hour long episode or something like that, I don't know. Or it promoted the game. Very kind of cool. Oh my god, is that. <laughs> I don't know. I couldn't think of it either. <laughs> Is that a Pokemon? Oh my god! Can I have your autograph? Look at it. Look at him with his wrinkles. Oh no. You destroyed. The board, the, the computer thing, the BBS. <laughs>、uh, came on Katie Mount Ultra. I think it's one worth the.、Uh, in the bridge, I think. Yeah. Look at those seagulls. Or Ringles, if you play Pokemon. Oh, look at Erica. Oh, she's so adorable. <laughs> And the eater bits that did some horrible, nasty things to her after that. After this, we beat him. <laughs> I really thought we were g o i n g to see that、uh, Kyoko、uh, transform or something. And this is end credits. This is going to be sort of long. <laughs> I might skip him. Oh, cool! We can see every single memory. And we got memories from that. I really want to use this end credits as, you know.、Um, As a motion background for my YouTube channel, but unfortunately, I can't use that with the credits rolling. <laughs>、um, but yeah, it looks like it's a perfect time to end the video. <laughs> oh man. You get to end it with this beautiful song.、Uh, I love this.、Uh, but, anyways, that's basically all for this video.、Um, basically, about this game, actually. I don't think I'm ever gonna play this game ever again. Because I got everything. Like, I honestly don't care about getting all the. Mr. Navits, I don't care about the Uchida person. I don't care about getting the medals at Fisher. Oh my god. I might, what I might do is just do three more cases. I might finish the territory battles and then I will call it quits forever in this game. <laughs> as much as I love this game, as much as I want to play it you know, for the rest of my life,、um, it's not possible. <laughs> I'm going to wait for the next Digimon game that's going to come out. So, yeah, hopefully in the next game. 
Erica makes the appearance. Oh, look at her. And we're giving it emotional support. Um, what you call? I hope the next game is based in the digital world. Something different. I don't think they'll do the the whole hacking thing again. Because like in the other Digimon games, you'd never really see them talk about hacking and stuff like that. It's only like in this game really hacking. And not not, not in Digimon games, like the Digimon show. None of the people in Digimon show are like hackers at all. Okay, I could be wrong. Maybe like Izzy might be a hacker, but it's be uh, about it. So. Yeah, um, I really hope the next game takes place in the digital world because I want to, you know, explore the digital world. And these past two games, you barely even go to the digital world. In the first game, you go there for like five minutes. I mean, five minutes. Like, I'm, not, I'm just exaggerating when I say five minutes, but you know. <laughs> uh, in this game, you don't go there at all, and that kind of sucks. Um, so, yeah, hopefully, the next game takes place in the digital world. Um, and hopefully you see Erica too. So you can see her make a cameo. Um, maybe if they want, they can bring back the old characters, but like, as, you know, just background characters. Also, um, they'll probably find some way to make you do cases in the digital world if you're, you know, going there. <laughs> oh man. But man, poor Erica. Man, I really wish she had a happy ending in this game. <sighs> It's been a few days since I beat this game, so, you know, uh, still have a lot of, you know, I'm still pretty angry, not angry, but not really happy with the, the ending of this game. But yeah, basically this video, oh my god. <laughs> it's just go through July where we always end off. But man, that's kind of crazy. <laughs> we finally finished this game after a few months. So... Hope you guys enjoy this uh, let's play like I said before. Um, totally forgot I was gonna do a secret episode like this. <laughs> um, but I hope you guys enjoy the secret episode. This, uh, you know, fun little thingy, thing which he uh, decided to do. But yeah, I was gonna record me doing the Abyss server, but I was like, eh, I don't think that, if that it's gonna be like, you know, that cool. It turned out to be pretty cool, so it's too late. Plus, I got Erica's little ending uh, thingy, so. Yeah, actually what I might do is, I might do territory battles and hopefully I can unlock Yuko's, you know, third personality event and never play this game ever again. <laughs> Until the next day, Jumagi. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Um, hopefully you enjoyed Hacking Memory. If you guys uh, have picked up this game and you guys, you know, just watched my last play, I highly suggest you guys pick it up. It's definitely a fun game. Definitely, you know, a different experience from watching and playing, so... Yeah, this game, I like, just stayed long enough, so hopefully you guys enjoyed, hopefully you guys enjoyed my other Let's Plays, if I'm going to do more in the future, which I'm pretty sure I am. Next one's probably be Kingdom Hearts 3, um, not so sure if, uh, when this video is going to be released, by the time this video is released, and Kingdom Hearts 3 might be out, not, I don't think so, I don't know, we'll see. Um, but yeah, basically that's the video, um, hopefully you guys enjoyed the story, my Let's Play, everything. <laughs> you let me know what your favorite part of this game. So the let's play, let me know what your favorite part is. That you guys, you know, maybe enjoy the let's play. <laughs> and what are these, what other games you guys want to see? If you guys want to see what the Digimon games or not. But that'd be this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I hope you guys enjoyed the series. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys later. <laughs>